Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video, we are going to solve this given quartic equation x power 4 minus 100 million equals to 0. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Let's go ahead and get started with the solution. And as you can see, our highest degree is 4. So therefore, we are supposed to have 4 possible roots to this equation. Now let me go ahead and manipulate this equation. I can write this x power 4 as x square and then whole square minus and I am going to write this 100 million as 10,000 whole square equals to 0. And now let's recall this famous identity a square minus b square could be written as the product of a minus b and then times a plus b we are going to apply on this equation. So therefore this equation could be written as x square minus 10,000 times x square plus 10,000 as well equals to 0 and now since these two factors are equal to 0 let me go ahead and separate them I can write x square minus 10,000 equal to 0 and on the other side I can write x square plus 10,000 equal to 0 as well now let's focus on this part this equation I am going to move this 10,000 on the other side so I can write x square equals to 10,000 on the right hand side now we can see this 10,000 could be written as 100 square so therefore we can write x square equal to 100 square now let's go ahead and undo this square by taking the square root on both sides so therefore we can see this square square root undo each other so we got x equals to positive or negative this square square root they cancel each other out as well so we got simply 100 or this could be written as x equal to 100 or x equal to negative 100 as well now let's focus on this equation let's move this uh, 10,000 on the other side so we're gonna have x square equal to negative 10,000 once again 10,000 could be written as 100 power 2 so I can write uh, x square equal to negative 100 whole square now let's go ahead and take a square root on both sides and we can see that uh, this square and square root undo each other so we got x equals to positive or negative 100 i where this imaginary number i equals to square root of negative 1 and this could also be written as x equal to positive 100 i and the other one is x equal to negative 100 i and now let's make a, an observation we can see that these two roots are our real roots whereas our these two roots are complex roots and thus here are our four solutions x equal to 100 x equal to negative 100 x equal to 100 i and x equal to negative 100 i thanks for watching please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye